Hey everyone, it's Tasha. Um, today I'm going to show you another um, homemade cleaner and this time it is stain remover. Um, you know it's really tough sometimes when we don't have anything to get a stain out. Um, I'm usually have dressed or um, the Tide stain remover on hand um, because I coupon so I usually try to get this at a low price. Um, but lately since my family is going non-toxic I've been making my own stuff and today I'm going to show you how to make my stain remover. Um, all you're going to need is two parts peroxide and one part soap, um, dish soap, um, any dish soap that you use. Um, I use the Greenworks, um, Clorox Greenworks, you know, um, it's supposed to be all natural, so that's what I've been using. I'm running out, as you can tell. Um, so what I did was I made, um, I got um, a cup and a half of peroxide and, um, a half a cup of dish soap. I'm kind of doing it a little different um, lately because, well not really lately, but right now because I am very low on dish soap. So I just did a cup and a half of peroxide, a half a cup of dish soap, and it will work just, you know, marvelous. It will still get your stains out. Um, it's non-toxic. It's, you know, safe for the environment. It's safe for your children. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a, um, actually I don't know if this bottle is going to be big enough, so I'm going to do um, I don't know which bottle I'm going to do. I don't, well, it should be big enough. Let's just see. Alright, um, I have a clear glass, um, not glass, but plastic spray bottle. I'm going to go ahead and pour the peroxide into the bottle. So when you do, when you do, um, need to remove stains, you just spray, spray it on the stain, rub the stain together for a few seconds, and let it sit for about 10 minutes before you throw it in the wash. Okay, so I got the peroxide in there, and now I'm going to put the soap. Okay, the soap is going to make a little bit of a mess. And you can use any dish soap that you use. My family, you know, we do non-toxic stuff, so we're trying to do all natural. Oh. And it smells so good, too. Like, I love the smell of the green works. That's my favorite. Um you know, dish soap. So, um, if you haven't tried Greenworks and you are, you know, cautious about what, you know, you wash your dishes with and what goes, you know, around your children or your pets, get Greenworks. I love that brand. Clorox is a great brand. Um, so, and then this is what it looks like. It will settle down like the soap and stuff. It will all mix up together. Um, and then after you, you know, mix it up or whatever and you want to put it in your, your shelf, just make sure you, um, put a label on it. I usually just, you know, tape a label on to the bottle and then when it's time to make, um, you know, new stain remover, remover, I'll make a new label for it. And with the date, because in my last video I did tell you that these cleaners usually last about two to three months, um, their shelf life. So, um, that's, you know, how I do it about every two months, I make new cleaners. So this is the stain remover and it's going to go in the laundry room on my shelf, um, there for anyone, um, who would like to, um, you know, make, you know, for anyone who needs to remove a stain. So, I right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and God bless you.